Yo, what's going on, Nation? It's your boy, Reek. You already know I'm in the lab working on a few projects, and I figured I'd make a video right quick. And I know I say this a lot. If you've been following my journey, you know I always say this is going to be my fastest video. So this is actually going to be the quickest and shortest video I've probably done thus far, though, for real. So we're going to jump right into it. I'm working on some boxer briefs today. I found a vendor that got boxer briefs, and I've been getting them for a while, but I never really posted about them. I would post them on my page, but people would ask. And I was like, you know what? I get a lot of questions about those briefs, man. I might well share the wealth, share the knowledge, <laughs> let people know where they can get them from. So I got a vendor that do blank briefs. The briefs come fully blank, uh, fully blank around the waistband. The packaging is unbranded. So the only thing that come on the packaging is the label with like a size chart of how the size of the briefs run. Other than that, everything is fully unbranded. So if you get the briefs, you can actually brand the packaging. You don't have to buy no packaging. And you can brand the waistband on the briefs in any other uh, place or location you want to print on them. So... I'm going to start because I already opened them, man. I actually was just about to print them so that I can go in and rock my briefs because I'm trying to put on some new underwear or whatever, man. Y'all know how that go. But, yeah. So, look, this is the packaging, right? It come in one of these bags like this. Boom, the Ziploc bag with, the, like, the Frosted. It's the Frosted Ziploc bag. That's what I guess they call it. Yeah. So, Frosted Ziploc bag. The brand name is Natural Feelings. I don't know if you ever heard of them. If you're in the briefs, this is probably going to be geared more to men. I haven't really found none for women. But I'll look and see if I can find some, I guess. I mean, I just really was buying these for me and just to drop them for my brand. And I was like, you know what? Might as well share, man. I get a lot of people asking when they see me posting my briefs. So, yeah. Coming this frosted uh, packaging. It had a size on the front, so you don't have to put the size. Boom, it's empty. It comes like a little note card. Then on the back, it got like a chart. So, it got like a size chart, as y'all can see right here. Size chart basically just break down, you know, size from small to 4X. Is what they go up to. It got the warning. So you don't have to do none of this. Like, you literally have a full label package. If you want to do anything, you want to just, like, add your logo to the front or something like that, that'd be dope. That's what I was going to do. So what I, my plan was to print me a label and uh, or just recreate these labels if I want to go fully custom. But just print a gray label, add it to the front, and boom, there you go. You know what I mean? But if you do want to do your own label, you can take these off, scan them, and recustom them. All that good stuff, man. I'm in all that. So, yeah, this is the packaging. Enough about the packaging. The briefs are like uh, 20 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. I got to go back on there and look. But I'm going to put a link in the description below so that y'all can go get the briefs for the dudes that's watching this, my fellas. You know what I mean? The creative nation that want to see them. So, like I said, they come fully unbranded, bro. Look at these. Nothing on the way, man. Matter of fact, I'm going to take them over here to the press because y'all really don't even need to see me for what I'm about to do. But we're going to run through these right quick. We're going to print them. And. We're going to, um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to print them with some 3D foam. We're going to get right to it, man, so I can throw on some briefs. <laughs> Let me bring these over here right quick. Yeah, we're going to do these. Boom. So, actually, I brought the briefs over here. So, I already cut out two samples just to confirm the size or whatever, right? So, this is the size that I'm going to run with on these briefs on the waistband. And, yeah, that's what it is. Let me show y'all. All right, y'all. So, boom. We're going to, um, matter of fact, I don't need all these up here one time, so I'm going to move some of these to the side. We're going to start with a gray pair just because I feel like you can see the gray pair a little better in this lighting. So, yeah, that's what it is. So, boom, you got the briefs. And what I did, the main thing you're going to be checking for because the length of the design don't matter, but your font going to matter more than anything. So, you got to pick a decent font. Luckily, I picked a simple font when I made some of my designs, and this was a perfect one. Like, when I saw this, I said, oh, these are going to be hard. Simple. Simple always win, if you ask me. So, basically, how we run these is... I can either do three on the front or I, I normally go one on the front, one on the back, and two on each side right here. So it's clean, bro. Hold up. Because it's fresh for me too, y'all. It's brand new. Like I literally just cut these samples out. So the size, if you see, like I said, they come unbranded. This is the size of them right here. Boom, boom, boom. You can put that on there and press them. I'm going to use 3D foam. And even the tags in them, like the tags come unbranded, no name at all in them, but it already got everything. So basically, they do all the work for you. All you got to do is find you some good material to put on your waistband that can last and you're good and for me i use reflective or 3d but mainly 3d because i feel like 3d has lasted the longest when i used it uh on the last brief that i did as far as washing and drying and all of that and then i always pick a font that has like the letters are kind of spaced out i don't like a font that's kind of connected because this is something that stretch and most of the time with stuff that stretch is gonna rip or you know tear the vinyl depending on what kind of vinyl you use just because of that stretch depending on how far it got to stretch it's stretching the vinyl and most vinyls don't stretch that far so i try to pick this because if i put this on here like this even if the person do stretch it it's spacing between the letters so the letters are open up the, with it and it won't break the letters up so you definitely gonna want to do that man you're gonna want to make sure you pick a font that's kind of spaced out like all my fonts are always spaced out on the breeze but this is gonna be my permanent breeze so i'm actually gonna sell these 
So if y'all see these, man, hey, <laughs> I'm putting some briefs online soon on the site. About to go into work on me a little uh, drop. But yeah, we're going to do this. So I got to cut out the rest of them. I'm going to run that, and then we're going to press them, and that's going to be it. All right, so we already know it's going to be four briefs to each one. So basically, I just did one pair, two pair, three pair, four pair, and I already got two put out. So boom, we're going to cut these out. You know what I mean? This don't take up no vinyl. I mean, this is like you can literally get this out the scrap box, most likely. Run that. Oh, it's already loaded at the bottom. I'm tripping. There you go. y'all so we got all that weeded out quickly you know what i mean it wasn't quick as it looked because i had to speed the video up <laughs> of course but yeah that's what that is man there go all my briefs logos box of brief logos and we're gonna go ahead and press this up you know what i mean let's get it make this quick i swear this this gotta be my quickest video because i done said it so this gotta be my shortest video no matter what <laughs> i say that all the time and it still end up being a long video not this one though we almost done already because i only got to show y'all one pair of briefs I don't gotta show y'all. I'll be pressing all of them. That's what it is. So yeah, we're gonna clip two of these on off. Mm -hmm. Gonna press these gray briefs so I can put some on. Not saying I don't have nothing on. <laughs> they just old, you know what I mean? Not super old, but old to the point where put on some new, man. Don't worry about it. Stay out of my business, y'all. Let's get it. So boom. All right. And then of course y'all know me. I'm Mr. Padded Pillow. So. This is the this is the main thing. You're gonna need one of these for sure. Cause you I, I like to stretch it a little bit. And also if you want, you can stretch it around there. But I'm gonna stretch mine around the pillow like I always do. Put that in the pillow. So look, boom. Slide the pillow down in there. And they got different sizes, so they may have a better size for this. I actually need to upgrade this one because it's super flat, but for now it'll do. So we're gonna put that pillow in there just to give it some. I mean, pressure and cushion. Turn the pressure up a little bit. Let me see. Oh, that's a little too high, actually. All right, baby. We should be good right there. I say, like, medium pressure. And you can make these straight as possible so that it don't be curving down. Let me get back up on it and show y'all. Let me move my other breech right here. All right, so like I was saying, you see how I got the waistband super straight, not drooping like this. You don't want it drooping like that. So I, I I put it in the padded pillow because it's gonna make it straight, make it straight, and then that's it. That's, it's simple, bro. It ain't that hard. Y'all know me. I heat my I heat my puff at two hundred and ninety degrees Fahrenheit. So that's always been the best temperature for me for mostly every color, no matter what store I get it from, and it, and it looked good. So yeah, we're gonna put that over a little bit because I want it perfectly in the right line. I'm lining mine up with the two threads. I don't know if y'all can see the two. Yeah, you can see the two threads. These right here. So I'm lining mine up with that. Both letters. And I want to say, let me see what size. I want to say this size is about a width-wise. Let me see. Hold on. The width on this is 3.5 inches. So that's a 3.5 inch logo. Like I said, the only reason I said the height don't matter is because you just want it to, you know it got to fit in between this. So long as the letters are big enough to where they can fit like centered in this, you know, you should be good. So we're going to go in and press this first one. Let's get it. Hold on. Let me zoom in for y'all. All right. <laughs> That's the first one. That's the first first puff hit. Boom. You're going to press it one more time. going to press it one more time, y'all. Boom. And the, and the 3D ain't going to hit that hard, but it's going to hit good enough. Like, I just like the 3D because it lasts. To me, it seems like it lasts way longer. Like, it puffs up, but it's not necessarily about the puff effect. It's about this vinyl lasts longer than regular vinyl. It ain't going to crack up. And like I said, now you can see what I mean by when I was saying when he sh somebody put these on, they stretch it. See, the letters ain't going to crack up because it's it's not connected. So it's not a connected logo. Like my old logo used to crack up. My the flyer, let me, matter of fact, I can show y'all. Let me see Do I got it on the wall. Like, see this logo right here? This big logo, the flyer, when I had it on there, that line would always break up. The bottom word would always break up. Like, in you know, it would always break up. So, because I didn't have the, actually, I didn't have the top, only had fly air on there at the bottom. But that would always crack up because when they stretch, 
is gonna crack up regardless, especially after a few watches. So yeah, I just wanted to show y'all that. You know, space the letters out, or whatever. And then now it's simple. You can either just spin this around like this, or you can take it off and put the pad pillow back in there. However you want to do it. Either way, I'm gonna go four, four sides. So instead of doing that, I'm gonna go and do the back first. You know, I'm gonna slide these back up in there. I'm gonna do the back. It's a little line on the back, but you can ignore that because one thing about that heat, when it hit it, it's gonna be on there. <laughs> So like I said, I, I, I press my puff at 290 degrees Fahrenheit. And actually, see, that's perfect. This front so perfect, it go right between it. So actually, I don't even have to worry about the line, man. Bet. I'll make sure that's straight. 290 degrees on the puff Fahrenheit. Press that down. And that's the back. That's the back. Actually, and I'm going to say this, too, because I actually did this backwards. Normally, I would do the sides first because I don't want to hit the puff while these are bent and folded. So I would say do your sides first, then flip it to the front and back. It makes it a little easier on there. I, I have done that before. But, yeah, we're going to go ahead and press that. That's normally how I would do it. I would do the sides first. And that's one side. And last but not least, this side. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to make sure it's... Nice on your space. Like that with the seam. I just lined everything up with the lines. There's lines for everything on the brief. So you got the seam right here. Line it right on up. Easy. Make sure it's straight. Okay, cool. So Nation, y'all seen the video in the photo room and y'all see how it's set up. Y'all see how to do the prints, all that good stuff. Like I said, I use 3D foam puff mainly. 290 degrees Fahrenheit is what I press it. And yeah, that's what it is. I just had to bring them back in here right quick to show y'all the hat press because I know I'm gonna get some people say, bro, why you just didn't use the hat press? It would be easier. But my hat press is actually broken right now. And I'm waiting on a better one, an upgraded one that I just ordered that's gonna come in this week. So don't question me on why I didn't use my hat press, man. I just didn't use it because it's down and out right now, man. I done worked it to death. But yeah, you can use your hat press to press these briefs the same way you use the uh, padded pillow. It's actually easy to use the hat press, of course. But like I said, mine broke. I'm waiting on a lot of new equipment. New hat press, new printer, new vinyl cutter. I ain't gonna get into telling y'all what it's gonna be, but it's all coming this week. So I got a lot of videos I'm about to make, some unboxings, all that. And we're gonna do three videos a day. Watch, just watch. Watch how these roll out back to back. <laughs> So let me show y'all right quick, man. This is it. Padded, padded pillow versus the hat press. This is the hat press. Put it up there, you know what I mean? Take it on each side, same thing. Yeah, that's what it's gonna be. You can use your hat press. Mine broke right now, so I can't use mine. Don't be coming at me about why you, I ain't using my hat press and all that good stuff. So I appreciate y'all for watching this video, man. Just a quick video on how to do briefs, where to get the briefs, you know what I mean? The link in the description below. Check that out. Stay subscribed to the channel if you already subscribed. Share a couple videos, you know what I mean? Spread the word, man. Help the word get out to other people. And if you ain't subscribed to the nation, subscribe to the nation. Join up, you know what I mean? And I appreciate everybody. Like I said, I'm about to get up out of here and go and work on the next video so we can keep this rolling, keep this cooking. And yeah, I got some more stuff coming out for y'all soon.